Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp Pro partner. I'm going to go through today how we can send an email with coupon codes. Now, it's very, very simple. I'm assuming in this tutorial that you don't have an integration that automatically adds coupon codes to MailChimp. So for example, if you use WooCommerce or maybe another e-commerce platform, your coupon codes may automatically come into MailChimp. So I'm assuming that that isn't the case here. I'm going to show two methods of adding coupon codes to an email and sending the email. The first way I'm going to show is very simple and that's where everyone gets the same coupon code. And that's what many organizations do. They send actually the same coupon code to, um, to everyone. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how we can give everyone in your audience a unique coupon code, create the email that sends that unique coupon code to that person. So, so we're going to be doing two things. But first off, let's go and show how we can send the same coupon code to everyone. I'm in my demo account in MailChimp itself. So to send the same coupon code to everyone, I'm just going to go to campaigns. I've started to create a campaign and I'll, I'll just go into that. I'm using the new uh, email builder in MailChimp. Some of you might use that. I've started to create it already. I've defined who I'm sending to, who it's from, the subject line. But the content is what I'm concerned with. So I'm going to click Edit Design. Once this loads up, you'll notice I have sort of adjusted some of the words. It's just very basic stuff that I've done. Um, and obviously this isn't a tutorial about creating an email itself. It's about adding coupon codes. I have other tutorials and please watch them if you if you, um, if you have the time, that, that will teach you how to create email marketing. I've just added my logo, uh, added a header. I, I, this is very simple, but often um, companies will use this exact uh, layout. I've personalized the first name, hey, first name, for example. Added a bit of text. Now I've added a button so the person can click that and go to my online store, my online booking system, if you're a restaurant or if you're a beauty salon, a hairdresser, whatever, it's just a link to somewhere else. So if we're sending the same coupon code to everyone, I quite simply just need to create, I'm just going to click the plus to add some paragraph text in this case. And I'll just go back and you can see here I've got your coupon code is so I can just add the universal coupon code here. So let's say it's, um, I don't know, one, two, three, X, Y, Z is the coupon code you're sending to everyone. You can just add it in. You can style it if you really want to. You can make it bold. You can center it. And if you want to, you could, you know, change various things here. But let's change the text just to show that we can. Let's make it a, a bluish color. Um, okay. So there we go. So this is where, if we want to send everyone the same coupon code, we quite simply create the email as we normally do and just add the coupon code in there. And then the person can go to your website uh, or your booking system and book using the coupon code. Of course, you would have had to add this to your e-commerce system or your booking system. If they're coming into your store, well, you'll just need to add this into the, the POS system you have or however you normally manage coupon codes. So you'd add that to your POS system first, for example. So really simple, just sending the same coupon code to everyone. Honestly, it takes a few minutes, couldn't be simpler. And we would just click continue and add the coupon code uh, sorry, and that would send the same coupon code to everyone in this case. I'm just going to delete this block and show you the second methodology, the, the other methodology. So what I'm going to do now is show how we can send a unique coupon code to each person. So if I've assigned a unique coupon code to every single person, I'll then be able to send it. Let's go back to our audience. I'll just click continue and we'll go into our audience. Um, so just bear with me. I'm just clicking audience. Let me just view my contacts. I've got a few people in there at the moment, just obviously a demo account. I have, if I'm sending a unique code to every single person, I need to have a field or a column, if you want to call it that, a field here for the coupon code that houses or, or, or stores a unique coupon code for every person. So for this person, I would need to have a value somewhere. There are two ways to add uh, or to easily add fields into MailChimp. So I'm going to 
add a coupon code field here. I'm going to, the first way we can do it is the way I'm going to show you. Uh, so nice and quick and simple, we can add a column into our audience. And the other way is we could do it during the import. I'm going to first show you how to add the coupon field, a coupon field into your audience. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import people into MailChimp and you'll notice I'll just add the coupon code. I've got a unique coupon code here for each person. I'll just add them into the, um, into the audience and then we will uh, create the email that sends the unique code to each person. But the first step is we need to create our, um, our new, new field. So I click settings, looking at my audience, I click settings. And then I click audience fields and merge tags. If I now scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see that I can click add a field. So I'm going to click add a field. So it's right down at the bottom. And then you can select your type. I'm just in this case going to select text. So I'm clicking text. We'll just wait for our field to be created. So if I scroll down again, you'll notice I now have a new field there and it's called untitled. I'll change this and you can call it whatever thing, whatever you want. I'll just call it coupon code, for example, but you can call it whatever you want, discount code, whatever. I'll click save changes. So now I'm expecting that in my audience, I'll have a field into which I can add the unique coupon code against each person, each subscriber, each contact. So I'm just gonna click contacts to go back again. I'm clicking the number of contacts. I forgot to click it, sorry about that. Okay, it'll, it'll load up now. So what you'll notice is I now have a field called coupon code. I don't have anything in there at the moment. So now I'm going to import the coupon code against each person. I've got a Google Sheets um, document here. You could be using Excel, something like that. It doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do is just do a normal import and I'm assuming you know how to do an import, but I will go through it quickly. So we'll just import all our information. I'm just going to copy. So I'm just copying all my data. But again, notice I do have a coupon code against each person's name and you would have had to have added this to your booking system, event system, e-commerce system beforehand. Going back to MailChimp. So to, I'm going to uh, sorry, import to, to populate this coupon code field. So to import, I'm just going add contacts, import contacts, and I will just follow the wizard basically. So I'm going to copy and paste and I click continue to upload. I'll just paste in all my data, click continue to organize. Is that the right audience? Yes. I'm, I'm importing as subscribed. Um, what I will do is I, I won't update groups at the moment, but I will click update any existing contacts because I already had some people in my audience. I'm now adding a coupon code for them. So I do want to update them. If you don't check this, then you won't be adding the coupon code for the people that are already in your audience, the, the subscribers or the contacts. So I click continue. You can tag your contacts if you want to, but I'll click continue to match. That's the email address. That's the first name. That's correct. This is orange because MailChimp's not recognizing this field. So if I click on the, the name of the field, I can click the down arrow and I will just find my coupon code. That's the field I added a few, you know, a minute or two ago. Click confirm. So that just means that that field will then be, be populated with the coupon codes. So that's correct. So I click finalize import, check that everything's okay. Click complete import. And let me just click view contacts. Wait for this to load quickly. And what you'll notice now is that my coupon codes have been populated. And just to double check, let's just check that for Gary plus seven and these two, uh, what Gary and Gary on thousand, Gary plus 14, that they didn't have any coupon codes. Uh, Gary, Gary plus 14, uh, that was somewhere else. That doesn't really matter then. And Gary plus three. Hmm? Sorry, just bear with me one second. Um, oh, sorry, there is a code there. Yeah, just ignore me. Anyway, double check that um, that your coupon codes are all there. So they're there now. Okay, so every person has a, a, a coupon code or all the people we want have a coupon code assigned. So now 
we want to send that email with a unique coupon code. So Gary plus 1000 gets that coupon code. Gary at Organigrip gets that coupon code and so on. Let's go to our campaign. We'll go back into our campaign to edit it. And, and again, I've, you, you saw this earlier, I pre-created it, but I'll click edit design. So how do we add that unique coupon code? Well, it's incredibly simple. So again, let's add a field to add our coupon code into. So in this case, I'll just select paragraph and I'll just style this field uh, for now. So let's center this, for example, let's bold it, let's italics it, let's change the text color to, let's use a, a really sort of a greeny color for now. Okay, so in this field now, the way I insert that unique coupon code for each person is I click merge tags and then just find that field that I uh, created for my coupon codes. So in other words, here it is, coupon code, insert that. Okay, and I'll just click somewhere else. So my email's already, there's the button that people can click, your coupon code is there. Um, so let's just check that this will actually, <clears throat> sorry, let's just check that this will actually work. If I click preview, and if I enable live merge tag info, There we go. And let's just go to another person. So Lee was A, B, C, D, three. Let's go to another one, Hannah, A, B, C, D, six, and so on. So that's how you insert uh, dynamic um, dynamic coupon code. So we show, I show it anyway, two ways. By the way, please like this video. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Um, I showed two ways. I showed how we can set this, send the same coupon code to everyone. And in that case, we don't need to add a field to our, uh, a unique field or, or a field to our audience. There, we just created our email, inserted the text for the coupon code, and we can send it. If we have a unique coupon code for everyone, we first create a field, a new field in our MailChimp audience. We populate that field with the unique codes, then, in our email that we're going to send, our email campaign that we're going to send, we use a merge tag with that coupon field. So it matches up, MailChimp will match up the email address with what the coupon code should be and will automatically populate it for you. But thank you. My name is Gary from organicweb.com.au.